Hi, I'm Anil Kumar sharing a question from my subscriber Ankit. Ankit, thanks a lot for sharing this question and also asking for some tips, rather tricks. Well, my advice is that tricks are short-term solution and they will never lead to success. So let's understand the right process. If you really want to do it fast, what we are trying to do here is multiply some mixed numbers, multiplication, division, and work it out. Now, these questions are very popular these days for entrance and competitive exams. So I do understand from where the question comes. But let's try to see how we can save time. So one technique is estimate. Now, this is an excellent technique which could be utilized to answer questions which you are not very sure of, correct? Or which you think takes more time than allocated. So you have to take a wise decision as you move forward. Now let's try to estimate and answer. Now we need to find the value of n so we know clearly what n is equal to. So n is equal to all this take away 4, right? So I'm writing minus 4 here, replacing these two positions. And now I will do the rest. 2, 3 by 4 is very close to 3. So, right, 3 by 4 is very close to the whole number. So we are estimating higher. 5, 5 over 7. Now this is also more than half. So I'm estimating this to be 6. Do you see that? I have estimated this also higher divided by 2 point this is 2.5 actually it is uh, 2.5 but that will waste time so i'm estimating 3 and now what we should know since i approximated right so n should be higher than calculated i should say estimated you understand this step. Now, this is the most critical step, right? And that will help you to get the right answer. So, so we estimate like this. So, this 3 cancels and 6 minus 4 is 2. So, what we get is 2, right? So, we know our estimate is, so higher than this is what we are estimating, right? So, we need something which is more than 2. Right, so because if I would have divided by 2.5, I would have got something like 3 here, correct? So, so it is between 2 and 3. You get my point. So instead of 2.5, I made it 3. So we are expecting answer, which is higher than estimated. You are getting my point, correct? So 6 minus 4 is 2. 2, we are expecting higher than 2 and therefore the answer is B. Now I could have given you here a closed number. For example, I could have given you 1, 3 over 7. Now that is also very close to 2. Correct? You could have made a mistake. Perfect. Now this particular idea of understanding how to estimate is one of the most brilliant ideas to solve such questions and be successful so i hope that point has been taken care of correct and now let us do the actual method correct which may take time but you need to understand right so so let's do process let's understand the method so first step is to write them as improper fractions. So that is the first step. Write them as improper fractions. Now some students at this time do not even understand how to do it fast. Well simple 2 times 4 is 8, 8 plus 3 is 11. So the first term is 11 over 4 times. 5 times 7 is 35 plus 5 is 40. Now this is a very fast process. I'm just going slow so that those who don't know who to how to do it, they can understand. Now, division is reciprocal of multiplication. So I'm changing this sign to multiplication. 
Now, for the benefit of others, I'm just doing it in two steps. So we'll not do it now. 2 times 9 is 18. 18 plus 4 is 22. So we get 22 over 9, right? And we have to get this 4 on this side, and that gives you n. Correct? So these are the steps which you should do quickly. Now, let's go further. So it is 11 over 4 times 40 over 7 times now multiplication and division are reciprocal. So we write 9 over 22 minus 4 is equal to n. Correct? You don't have to do all these steps. It is if it is a multiple choice question where time is critical. But now simplify. See 11 goes 2 times. Do you see that? 4 goes 10 times. And this 2 can divide 10 by 5. Perfect. So what you get here is 9 times 5, which is 45, divided by 7 minus 4. Now, since 7 is the denominator here, we should write here 4 times 7 over 7, right? Since it is like 4 over 1. So we are making it same denominator, correct? So basically now, what you have is 7 as a common denominator. You have to take away 28 from 45. Correct? And then when you take away, you get 17 over 7. And now you have to divide. Correct? Some students don't even understand this step. How to get back to the uh, improper fraction, right? From improper to mixed numbers. So 17 divided by 7 goes 2 times, you get 14, remainder is 3. And therefore, the answer is as expected 2, 3 over 7. Option B. Perfect. So I hope these steps are clear. So one part is to understand all these steps, second is practice. Correct? So take up some more examples, practice. That is going to give you success. And best part is correctly estimate. If you do this right, it is better than any trick applied. So I hope this concept is clear. Now, I'm telling you from my experience, since uh, I've gone through all these stages, and I do understand how to you know, prepare students for such things. Now here, I'm not really giving you any tricks, but I'm giving you a very important tip right so so the tip is estimate that works and that is the best technique of getting the correct answers for all such questions i hope that makes sense feel free to share your views um, and if you like and subscribe to my videos that would be great and i hope this helps many others Thanks for the question once again. All the best.